and I'm gonna start with hoodies to suits. <laughs> so it, would it be fair to say the hoodie is a public blockchain and the suit is private? <laughs> I don't wanna get in trouble. Well, to me, the hoodie is technically the technology, right? And so you had entrepreneurs and technologists that they created this two and a half trillion dollar industry financial system, but they did it without the help of the suits of us that have experience. I'm, I'm a former traditional finance person as well, that have the experience understanding regulation, securities, that sort of thing. And I think you, everyone needs to work together. Now on the question of public to private, which is what this is about, when we speak to the banks, I think you'll find out there's a lot of regulation in this space and the banks are the most heavily regulated that when they're looking at actually working with this technology, most of them are working with private chains. So information's not out there. They're much more protected. Um, private chains, depending on how you look at it, could be like a very large centralized database because they don't have the, the decentralization that public chains do. But banks are actually looking at and asset managers. Asset managers have done public chains, but that's different. We'll get into purposes later. But the banks are actually, from what I hear, really looking at public chains, because the future, I believe, is public. And I believe that they're, the, like, they're similar to the intranet and the internet. So remember when companies were afraid of the internet, we all had intranets on our computers, and that didn't really, sh it was like a bulletin board, right? Versus the internet is free access to information. So I think that this is really access to finances, securities, what have you. So that's how I view the two worlds.